11 hours, 59 minutes, hour 18, 22 hours and one minute. Physically, I'm here, but mentally, I'm floating face down on a river. <laughs> I'm awake but at what cost you know I love a good challenge so even though I've recently done the exchanging my screen time for reading time what better way to end the month than doing another reading challenge where I time myself reading for 24 hours straight with as little breaks as possible bathroom breaks unnecessary food breaks who needs food when you have books am I right and on the sleeping situation, I'm still not convinced that we need sleeping for survival. It's as Steve Aoki said, I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> so hopefully this video won't kill me. That's definitely not the goal, but I just really wanna do this challenge because it sounds fun. It sounds like I'm going to be losing the last few brain cells that I have left, but it's all in the name of good literature, so it's okay, right? <laughs> and hey, if it's not okay, at least it's going to be fun to watch right <laughs> i'm grasping at straws here my dude but anyways i thought it would be fun to go through all of the books that i want to get through for this challenge these are books that i started in november and i really want to finish before december because i want to go into december with a clean slate i don't want to have any unfinished books when december starts so this is the perfect challenge for me because i have some books to get through the first and main goal for this challenge is to finish Jade City written by Fonda Lee. I picked up Jade City after so many people told me to give it a second chance when I mentioned it on my DNF to books video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. But so many people commented that I should give Jade City a chance and so I am. I've already made it past the point where I DNF'd and that's very exciting. But for some reason, I just haven't continued reading it's not that I lost interest, it's just that I haven't made time for it. I think this is the perfect challenge to finally sit my ass down and finish Jade City. I'm currently on page 249, which is chapter 30. This has 495 pages, so I definitely have some reading to do. I'm almost halfway through the book, which is very exciting, but this is like, this challenge is exactly what I need to finally boost my motivation to finish Jade City and hopefully give it a high rating. After I finish Jade City, because I will, I want to try and read Venus in the Blind Spot written by Junji Ito. I recently acquired this beauty of a book and I'm just really in the mood for some horror manga. I haven't read Junji Ito in so long, it feels like. So I just wanna see what this is about. I've also heard amazing things about Venus in the Blind Spot. So I'm just really excited to read it and see how I feel. Maybe I can leave this for when it hits 1 a.m. and I'm a little bit deranged. I'm a little bit like, what's going on? I feel like that would be the perfect time to read a horror manga. <laughs> I also have another book that I'm in the middle of and it's called Better Than the Movies, written by Lynn Painter. I don't own it physically, but I do have the ebook. I also have another pretty substantial manga that I wanna read for this challenge. Volume five of Attack and Titan, the omnibus version. Look at this bad boy. It's literally so big. I don't even know. This doesn't have page numbers, so I can't even tell you how many pages this has, but it's a lot. As you can see, it's a lot. Those aren't my main goals for this challenge. I may be a little bit, what's that word? When you reach for more than you should. Ambitious. I feel like I'm being a little bit ambitious, but also it never hurts to dream except when it does. <laughs> Fingers crossed, it's going to be a very productive, very fun, and very entertaining challenge to watch and to do. So without further ado, I say let's just get reading. I think I'm gonna start with Jade City because I really just wanna finish this. Without further ado, let the madness begin. <laughs>
hours and 29 minutes into my 24 hour readathon and I've officially finished my first book, Jade City, written by Fonda Lee. Um, <laughs> honestly, very surprising how much I enjoyed this considering I've DNF'd it twice. In general, it was going to be a very solid three star. And then in the last 100 pages, it really started to pick up. So I'm a little bit conflicted on what I should rate this book because like I really enjoyed the beginning and I really enjoyed the end. The middle bits, I'm still a little bit hesitant on. So maybe this is like a 3.5 star book. Before those last few hundred pages, I was like, okay, I've read the first book. I gave it a good try. I won't be continuing the series. And then the ending happened and I'm like, okay, I have to, I have to continue the series. So yeah, I just, I just have a lot of conflicting emotions at the moment, but overall I did enjoy Jade City and I'm very glad that I gave it a second chance. Thanks to everybody who told me I should give it a second chance. I'm excited to continue. I'm excited to meet these new characters. I'm excited because of the direction that the author decided to take this story in. Like it promises a lot of bloodshed and a lot of drama and pain and torture. And you know, I'm all for that. <laughs> I'm so happy that I managed to finish this before the end of November because it was just like nagging me to have this on my currently reading list for so long. So I'm proud. Great start to this challenge. And before I read Better Than The Movies, I thought I would read Attack and Titan Volume 5 just because I, I'm in the mood to sit down with a chunky manga put on the AOT soundtrack and just lose myself in this world. It is currently 2.43. I'm still in good spirits. I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty happy. I'm excited. So hopefully I'm still feeling this way six hours from now or even 20 hours from now. Um, so yeah, I just realized I still have over 20 hours left. That's, th that's great. That's great. <laughs> No, it's good, it's good. It's so good, babe. Let's stop talking and let's get back to reading. <laughs> Okay, so right now, you can't see my face, but this is the thing. I saw it on Instagram where you take a certain amount of pages on each side. This is to make sure that the spine doesn't get cracked or like broken. I'm not sure if it works, but I just do it, you know, like better safe than sorry. And so far, none of my Attack and Titan spines have any of the white lines. I mean, so I called it a victory. Am I even doing it right? I have no idea. I'm probably doing it wrong. Actually, you know what? I'm doing it right. Whoever says I'm not just hates me. <laughs> Listen, I'm working on self-love these days. It's not easy, but you know, someone's gotta do it. Are you even focusing on the right thing, babes? Okay. You know what I mean? Like, there are no cracked things. So maybe it does work.
this is everything my dude you can't even see it please i'm reading it's not just a white screen i swear it's not just a white screen why are you doing this to me look i'm reading and it's so good wait i should probably shut sorry taylor swift oh where am i i am in chapter 11 there we go and According to this, I'm 66% of the way through. I am in love with this. Like, literally, figuratively, I love this so much. <laughs> like, I haven't stopped giggling. I'm so invested in this story. <laughs> like, I... Ugh, this is so good. So good. Eight hours and 33 minutes. Okay, I just had to stop because I really want to talk to you guys. I don't even know if this is a good angle, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about Better Than The Movies because this book... <laughs> like, I've been having such a wonderful time and now they've literally just quoted one of my favorite Taylor Swift songs and even, it, like, one of my favorite lines, period, which is, please don't ever become a stranger whose laugh I could recognize anywhere. <laughs> I'm so dramatic, I'm so sorry, but I just, this book is excellent for this type of challenge because it literally feels like a fever dream. Eight hours and a half have gone by and I haven't even felt them because this book is gloriously addictive and I'm just loving every second. And I thought I was gonna have like a harder time enjoying it just because it is a YA romance. So I was like, oh, it's, it's going to be like a little bit juvenile for me. I'm not gonna be able to enjoy it. But I was so wrong. And this is literally the cutest thing ever, especially because if you know me, you know that I'm a hopeless romantic. So I just feel like this book is perfect for me because it's already quoted so many of my favorite movies love actually my best friend's wedding how to lose a guy in 10 days like so many good movies and i'm just having the time of my life i've been fangirling so hard and i don't want this to end but i'm literally wait what is my percentage i don't even want to check oh I'm 86% of the way through this book. That means I only have 14% left. I don't want to live in a world where I don't have more pages of better than the movies left. I don't know how I'm going to survive this, but I just wanted to, I don't know, update you guys in the eight hour and a half um, landmark. I, I don't think that's the right word, but yeah. Milestone, I think it's, I, I don't know. I'm so sorry. My brain is just, <laughs> my brain is just, yeah, I'm <laughs> my serotonin is through the roof and that's just normally something that I never get to experience so I thought I would document it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back to reading now because I'm actually full-heartedly 100% obsessed with this book so I'm gonna go back to it now. <laughs>
it's not even that late but the thing is my bedtime like the latest is maybe what 10 p.m you know if i'm feeling naughty maybe like 10 30. <laughs> and it's <laughs> i mean it's also not helped by the fact that i've been reading for 12 hours straight my dude, my dude. 11 hours 59 minutes 40 seconds should we just wait for 20 seconds so i can redo this clip <laughs> No, I won't. I, hi. hi. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Are you enjoying the video so far? If you are, leave a like, smash that subscribe button. You know what I mean? Yeah, let me tell you guys about what I've been doing for the last couple of hours. I read these two volumes of Attack and Titan. Um, these were great. I did enjoy volume six. <laughs> hey, 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 no. Focus on me. Focus on me. Nor. <laughs> I read these two Attack and Titan volumes and I did enjoy volume six more than I did volume five just because this one has a little bit more action and volume five um, focuses a lot on the political side of the story, which is still super interesting and captivating, but I did miss a little bit of the action that we got on volume six. And I also finished better than the movies that is such a cute rom-com and i don't know like so far i haven't struggled with reading for such a long period of time and i think that the trick is i have like every single format of reading i have manga i have novels i have audiobooks i have ebooks like i never get tired because i can just switch it up and whenever my eyes feel tired i can just switch to my ebook or i can switch to a manga and it's just been good like the the vibe you know what i mean like <laughs> It's been there. You know, maybe I did just jinx myself by saying that it hasn't been hard because it, it has only been 12 hours. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen for the next 12 hours? I can't believe I can't believe I still have 12 hours left and <laughs> I finished better than the movies. It was incredible. I was giggling the whole way through. I gave it four out of five stars. It was just, I haven't read such a feel good, lighthearted rom-com in such a long time. And the main takeaway from reading that book is now that I wanna, I wanna go on this huge marathon of rom-coms. And I like, I just wanna gather a group of my favorite people get a bunch of snacks and just binge watch rom-coms. After I finished Better Than The Movies, I... <laughs> maybe, maybe I should have planned this better because now I don't have that many books to read. Um, but yeah, I decided to just start this holiday romance that I've been seeing a lot of my friends read on Goodreads. And it is called A Very Merry a very a merry little meat cute it just looked nice it looked fun it looked lighthearted, and christmas is basically already here so i don't know i just i wanted to get into the mood and i guess now i am i had no idea what to expect when i started this story but apparently um we have multiple povs so we're following the guy and the girl and the guy is this ex boy group member and he just got out of this huge scandal um but he's been cast as the main lead in a christmas movie sort of like the hallmark christmas movies that are really popular right now and then the girl she is actually a very successful porn star as fate would have it she has been cast as the other main lead in this christmas movie it's like this whole thing because nobody can know that she's a porn star so she's been having to hide that part of herself but <laughs> the main guy <laughs> he follows her so when he sees her on set, he's like, oh, I get What are you doing here? It's definitely a very interesting meet cute. So far, it's been pretty funny. And all of the interactions between them and just the story in general has been very fun, cute, lighthearted. So I'm excited to keep reading. I've only read 30%. And I'm still, as you can see, pretty good. 
like mood wise mentally i'm not even here but that's okay <laughs> yeah i'm totally fine this is this is good this is so so good. I think if I need to take a break from a merry little meat cute, I might pick up Venus in the blind spot. I did want to save this for like the 2 a.m., 3 a.m. vibe, but that's like right around the corner, so I won't be having to wait too long. But I'm excited. It's been a long time since I read a Junji Ito book in the dark during witching hours, so that's going to be fun and horrifying and probably traumatizing. I cannot wait. But that is it for this 12 hour midway point update. Again, I hope you're having fun in this video. Hopefully me sacrificing my sleep and my sanity is worth something. And I'm just gonna go back to reading now, but. Excuse me, shut up, thank you so much for your service, but I need you to be quiet. Um, can you see that? We've hit the 16 hour page mark, page, no, minute, hour, we've hit the 16 hour mark. It is, <laughs> it's 3.44 in the morning. You're not like physically making me do this. But the only reason that I'm doing this is because of you guys. <laughs> and I hate you just a tiny bit. I have zoned out at like 10.30 p.m. I don't know where I am. Like physically I'm here, but mentally I'm floating face down on a river. <laughs> um, Okay, let's talk about the books that I've read. Yeah, because that's that's a thing. I've read books. I finished Mary A Merry Little Meet Cute and I gave it 2.5 out of 5 stars, which was definitely a letdown after the four stars that Better Than the Movies was. So yeah, I read two very different rom-coms. You could say they're both lighthearted, they're both romancy, but the quality of the books, the quality of the writing, the quality of the characters. There's this one quote in Better Than the Movies that just spoke to me. I'm not a rom-com snob, whatever that even is, but a discerning viewer who expects more than a predictable plot with a fill-in-the-blank characters. I'm expecting just a little bit more than what I received from A Merry Little Meet Cute. I think the concept was there, but it was a tad boring. I'm so sorry. Maybe it is just my sleep-deprived mind that didn't let me enjoy this Merry Little Meet Cute. I enjoyed it, but not as much as I was expecting to, especially after the high that Better Than The Movies gave me. After, why is that such a long title? After a, mer after a Merry Little Meet Cute, 
I picked up Venus in the Blind Spot by Junji Ito and this was incredible. This was just a great reading experience, definitely a lot better than A Merry Little Me Cute and definitely a lot more gory and horrific and dark. That's to be expected from Mr. Junji Ito and he did not let me down. This has some very gorgeous panels. I think my favorites, let's see. I really enjoyed Billions Alone. The Human Chair is probably my favorite. And Unearthly Love was just very unnerving and it was really good to read. And also the titular story, Venus in the Blind Spot, was very... Ah, it... <laughs> yes, it was very good, but it was very weird as well. Like every Junji Ito story, it's going to be weird, but you're gonna love it but you're also going to be a little bit disgusted by it, but you're gonna, you're gonna be okay with that, mostly. <laughs> I've literally finished every single book that I said I was going to read for this challenge and then some. So now I'm just grasping at straws. It's 3.50 in the morning and let's see if it's been 16 hours. I still have eight hours to go for this challenge. So I don't have any more manga. I do have a few more ebooks that I could read, but I think I want to try and read a physical copy of a book that I recently got, and it is Interview with the Vampire, written by Anne Rice. If you saw my book haul video, if you haven't, I will leave it up here, but I recently got myself a copy of Interview with the Vampire after seeing it on Emmy's channel and seeing it become one of her new favorite books, and before I even saw it on Emmy's channel, I was just so interested on in picking this book up. And I'm, I mean, why not now? Like, if not now, when? Let's see how many pages this has. Because I don't want to start a book that I know I won't be able to finish. 340 pages. I think I can definitely read 340 pages in the span of eight hours. That is, if I don't sleep, um, I don't think I will. But also, I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> hour 16 of the 24 hour challenge. And I'm reading, how many books have I read? Jade City, Better Than the Movies, A Merry Little Me Cute, Attack and Titan, Venus in the Blind Spot. I've read six books. So hour 16 out of 24 hours, about to start my seventh book and it is about to be 4 a.m. For those of you who are wondering. to make myself look good <laughs> but um it's 6 20. can't even see that can you see this hour 18 hour, hour 18. 18 hour hour 18 with 14 minutes and 43 seconds it's 6 20 oh my <laughs> It's 6.21 in the morning. My alarm clock is going off in four minutes. <laughs> I don't wanna, 
why did I think this was gonna be a good idea? Like every single time I do this, I know this is gonna be the outcome and yet, they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So let's talk about interview with a vampire. No, like totally. I fell asleep. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know for how long though. Like it just happened. I closed my eyes and then never opened them back up again, which, you know, usually is a good thing. <laughs> But when you're timing yourself, not so great. I read around 50 pages of Interview with the Vampire before I went kaput, before my systems just shut down. I really like the writing. That's, I'm gonna tell you guys right from the start. I really like the writing. I really like the setting of the story. It feels really mysterious and gothic. And I just really like the vibe that I'm getting from this book so far, from the pages that I've read. It moves pretty quickly, like from page one, you're already at the edge of your seat, like, whoa. So I really enjoy that feeling. And the sole reason that I fell asleep is because my eyes were just itching, like literally itching. And I just couldn't keep them open for long. I think I fell asleep like at maybe 4 a.m., 4.50, 5 a.m. I'm just gonna go back to reading now. I thought I'd let you guys know because that's what we gotta do when we're vlogging. We have to let you guys know. We, I have, why am I talking in third person? No, what is that, second person? We? 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 Me and my we demon? And my demon? <laughs> We still have six hours to go. So who knows if I'll even finish Interview with the Vampire because I don't think these babies are gonna be working the same way that they were 18, 18 hours, hours ago. ago. So we'll just see. It's been great catching up. You know what I mean? Like it's just been fantastic. Let's never do, never this, do again. this again. Babes, don't worry, I'm awake. I'm awake, babes. Don't you worry your pretty little head. I'm awake. But at what cost? <laughs> Two hours and one minute and 21 seconds yeah I'm not doing great I even forgot to turn on my bookshelves I'm so sorry for that anyways my dude hi. hi we have two hours left in this 24-hour readathon and you know what I'm gonna be honest with you I'm struggling my concentration is not here anymore I'm finding it really hard to like focus on the words and the story I just it's getting hard my dude <sighs> But we still have two hours left and I read up until page 216. Considering my lack of concentration and just lack of motivation in general, will I finish this in two hours? Only time will tell. So I'm going to stop talking and just get back to reading and drink a little bit of my matcha latte and just send all the good vibes that you can. I know this is Bella from the past, but Bella from the past is going through it and she would really appreciate some good vibes right about now. If you're enjoying the video, let me know. That would make future Bella really happy and it would make her feel like everything that I went through was worth it. I don't know where this thought just came from, but imagine. <laughs> I think it's because it's interview with the vampire and the first interview that came to mind is the Buzzfeed one that they do with puppies. <laughs> imagine a vampire doing an interview with puppies. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so funny. Wow. Anyways, I thought I'd share. This is what an unhinged woman looks like. Welcome.
To answer the question, how many books can I read in the span of 24 hours? The answer in this case was seven books. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Let's do a quick overview of all of the books that I read for this challenge before I literally just fall to my death because I'm so tired and I'm so grumpy, but I know it's because of my lack of sleep. So I'm just trying to fight through it, you know, just fighting the big sad or fighting the big grumpy. First book that I finished on this challenge was Jade City. And full disclosure, I was already halfway through. I think I was in page 250. I know it was chapter 30. Okay, I was in page 249. So, you know, full disclosure, I finished half of Jade City to start the challenge off. I'm still pretty proud of myself because it did take me quite a bit to get into it. And I was just intimidated because it's this really intense fantasy book. So I'm really proud that I got to finish this and that I actually enjoyed it. That's a big plus as well. After Jade City, I went ahead and read two volumes of Attack and Titan, volumes five and six, the omnibus versions, of course. If you know, you know. I think I mentioned it in one of the clips. I did enjoy volume six more than volume five because volume five does deal with a lot of political themes and topics. And I'm not saying that I don't appreciate and enjoy the political side of the story because considering the government that these people have, it's pretty corrupt and it's pretty crazy what they get up to. So it was very interesting, but I did miss having a few more action scenes and this one definitely delivered. I don't know if you remember, but Kenny's here. So we get a good Kenny and Levi moment. We get a lot of Levi moments in general on volume six. And I don't know if you know, but Levi is my favorite character. So yeah, I really enjoyed these two. Then I picked up this rom-com book that was recommended by one of my friends on Discord and it's called Better Than The Movies. I gave this such a beautiful rating because I was smiling the whole way through. I was giggling like a schoolgirl. It's been so long since a book has made me feel like this. Like I was just back on my school days pretending to be someone I'm not just to be like cool and have the guy that I like like me back. Yeah, it just brought back so many good memories. I think something that I really loved about Better Than The Movies is that it could have been overflowing with pop culture references, but I think that the author does such a wonderful job of balancing the references with the actual story and the actual characters and the characters aren't just like copy pasted from their favorite movies they actually have a personality and they are very multifaceted which is not something that i see often in the books that i've been picking up so i really appreciated that because usually books that rely too heavily on pop culture references just cannot stand on their own two feet and it's very sad because it's just like why did you write this book after i read better than the movies which i read on ebook i decided to pick up another rom-com light-hearted book because better than the movies just it had me on such a high and I didn't really want to pick up Junji Ito just yet. So I picked up A Merry Little Meat Cute. And this one, um, not as good as I thought it would be, which is disappointing. Um, I think I gave it 2.5 stars, maybe, I think. You know what, I honestly just like, can we just pretend I didn't read that book? Like it does have some cute moments. I was just a little bit bored and it didn't give me the butterflies. It didn't make me feel anything. The characters were fine. Actually, no, no, the characters were not fine, sorry. You know me, I have a thing for characters and underdeveloped or cookie cutter copy pasted characters just ruin the whole vibe for me. And even though these weren't as stereotypical as they could have been, I just think the authors could have done a little bit more. Maybe it, it wasn't a good idea to pick up such an average book after reading such an amazing book as Better Than The Movies. Like, yeah, I was so happy and then this book just brought it all back down. Disappointing to say the least, but we move on because after A Merry Little Meet Cute, I picked up Venus in the Blind Spot written by Junji Ito. I read this on The Witching Hour, which is 3 a.m. Very spooky, loved every second of it. 
this has some really peculiar very horrifying very traumatizing stories I wouldn't expect anything less from Mr. Junji Ito and I just loved it. The collection of the stories that he chose for this volume or this edition were just fantastic and the titular story as well was so like how does he, how does he come up with these things? I will never understand. It's insanity. I finished Venus in the Blind Spot like maybe 4 a.m. or very close to being 4 a.m. and I was like okay I literally have no more books to read. I could do an audiobook but I would probably fall asleep so I decided to pick up another book that I recently got which was Interview with the Vampire written by Anne Rice and then <laughs> I fell asleep. I think I read like 50 pages and then my brain went like I really thought I wasn't going to be able to finish Interview with the Vampire for this challenge just because after I hit the 20 hour mark, I could feel my brain shutting down, especially because I didn't have to actually do 24 continuous hours, but for some reason, my brain was just like, bet. I was definitely not doing great in the last lap of this challenge. But when it hit the 23 hour mark, I was like, hey, I think I got my mojo back. And it does help that Interview with the Vampire is such an interesting and such a well-written book. So it was really easy to lose myself in the story and just love every second of it. It is very reminiscent of Frankenstein written by Mary Shelley. I feel like Frankenstein doesn't need an introduction, but just in case you didn't know, Frankenstein, Mary Shelley, the mama of science fiction. This is very reminiscent of Frankenstein because it's like a story inside a story inside another story and the way that all of these different stories just intertwine. How many times have I said stories? <laughs> the way that all of these different plot lines intertwine and interact with each other is so brilliant and I just loved it. I love having Louis's point of view. I love how soft-hearted he is and his character development and ooh, like it just it did it for me every single aspect of this book absolutely did it for me I'm so happy that I got to pick it up before the year ended because as I mentioned I did recently just get this I thought I was going to have to wait until like next October to get into the mood for vampires but I hit the sweet spot with this one it hit every aspect that I was looking for and it gave me so much more than I was asking for so yeah, I really appreciated and adored this story. I'm definitely going to talk about it more on my November wrap up, which I probably should record either today or tomorrow. Today, no, because after I finish this, I'm going to die. Those were all of the books that I read for this 24 hour reading challenge. Was it worth it? I did read really amazing books. We had a couple of four stars and we even had a couple of 4.5 stars. So to say that I'm happy with how this reading challenge went would be an understatement. I just hope it was as fun for you to watch as it was for me to film. Honestly, I'm, I'm so sorry. I wish I could come up with like this very introspective, this very deep final thought conclusion for this reading challenge, but I'm literally so sleep deprived. I just want to cry like a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. I just want to cry. Um, I don't think I have enough brain power at the moment to just like, what does this mean? I don't know. I just really hope you guys enjoyed. Like I, that's from the bottom of my heart. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're still here, I would really appreciate if you left this emoji on the comment section below so that I know you stayed until the end and you support my channel. Another way that you can support my channel is by hitting the like button and also subscribing. It helps this channel stay alive and it helps me keep on doing what I'm doing, which is this. <laughs> can you see I'm struggling? Um, what else do I- oh my god, I have an Instagram, I think, like totally. I'm obsessed with posting stories for some reason. It, it's a little bit annoying, but I, it's a good time. So if you're interested, it's also there. And a Patreon if you're interested on getting early access to my videos or getting exclusive videos. My Patreon is down below. If you're interested, it's all there for you babes. Everything I do is for you. So once again, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of this reading challenge. Are there any other reading challenges that you would love to see me do? If so, let me know down below in the comments. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey Jimmy, you nice. Keep going.